So I'm just searching MCAS practice tests, and it's going to bring up the Pearson website. And from here, you're going to click on ELA. And then for the practice tests, you're going to pick the grade level. And if you have someone that has word prediction or speech to text, you need to click on the web extension. And then you're going to have a choice to either use the co-writer or the read and write for test nav. So I suggest the read and write for test nav because that's what we have in our district. So it's going to be more familiar to the students. And then we're going to continue to the test. And they would normally have a ticket if they're taking the real test. And so now we're going to answer these questions. So when I'm here, you can see right on the side, this is what they would get to have it read to them. So there is this toggle if they want. So once I press that toggle on, then when I move my cursor over each line, you can see that it highlights. And if I clicked, now I turned that off. Um, and I just wanted to show you that this right here is the toggle for the touch text to speech settings. Now the sound that you guys heard was mumbled because it's not picking up my computer sound very well as I record. Um, so don't worry about that when you practice, you'll hear that it actually works much better. So the volume you can adjust here because the kids are probably going to be wearing earphones when they're using this and the speed, they can adjust it. And so again, this would be really good to practice to make sure you adjust it the right way. This menu is going to stay popped out until I hit that settings button. So I'm going to show you again when I toggle it, it's going to click and read. And I'm going to show you these jump back and skip ahead. And again, they do a nice job of showing you what's going to happen um, when you mouse over. So please, you can toggle it on or off. You can jump back or you can skip ahead. So that makes it very understandable. So if I jump ahead, it skips to the next line. If I jump back, it goes to the beginning of the line. So you could see I hit that a few times. It never jumped up to the next line. So it's going to, this is going to keep you, the rewind is going to keep you within that line. So you can toggle off. There is another way to get the system to play for you, but I think the toggle is the preferred way and I'm going to show you a reason why. So here, if I didn't have the toggle on and I didn't understand a particular word, I wasn't sure, if I double clicked on it, I could click listen. So it will still read it, but it's going to read a section and the section changes each time. It's not consistent. So I think this is easier because it's going to be very consistent. And the other reason why I think it's very important is when you get to the questions and answers, if I click on any of these, it will select it. Whereas if I have the toggle on and I just click on the question, you can see it's going to go right to read the answers. And it's not going to select anything when it does that. Versus if I click on it, it will select. So that's why I prefer this for the questions and answers. So I'm going to show you now this up here is the part for word prediction and to do the talk and type. So I'm going to get to one of those questions. Nope, that is not where I wanted to go. I'm just going to go back. Here we go. And so what I would need to do, I would toggle this off. I mean, I could have it on to read the question. And if I wanted word prediction, so if I was, you know, pretty solid at typing and I wanted to type, then I could just click here. And I could say, you know, Roy Rat. And so I can type, if I type like, liked to, and if I start typing skateboard, I have not read the passage, so I'm sorry if none of this makes sense. And I can put period and space. So the word prediction does that if I want to use the talk and type. I'm going to click here. The first time you use it, it's going to make sure that you authorize the microphone. But after that, you're able to use it, period. New line. Now I'm trying to show you how accurate it is when you use the speech to text, period. Typically, if I'm using Google, there are so many mistakes in my speech to text, period. But when I use the read and write, it is much more accurate, exclamation point, new line. And then 
Okay, the new line doesn't work here. It works in the typical one, but I can see it's not doing new line, but that's okay because the kids can turn it off. They can hit the enter button to get to the next line, and then they can turn it back on to write their, their new ideas. So I think that the kids will really like this. It's important to practice, practice with them beforehand.